Well, how about that? The Atlanta Braves hold on to win 4-2 in Game 6 of the NLCS, eliminating the Los Angeles Dodgers and punching their ticket to the World Series for the first time since 1999. Wow. Okay. I was pessimistic as fuck after they lost Game 5, 11-2. They're up 3-1, lose game five, and I'm like, oh god, this is going to be a repeat of last year. Excuse me. This is going to be a repeat of last year, isn't it? Keep in mind, I'm not a Braves fan. I'm a Red Sox fan. Yes, I'm ticked that they lost the Astros, especially in the way that they lost the Astros, but we weren't even supposed to be there to begin with, so credit where credit's due. Same thing with the Braves. You lose Soroka, you lose Acuna, you lose Azuna because he decided to be a fucking idiot. Hell, even in the play going into the series, you lost Solaire until the very end of the series because of COVID. And yet somehow, even with the fact that Luke Jackson almost sold the game, you know, when he came in in relief earlier, somehow the Braves held on and win and won. Even with the fact that they could not get any more run support. After making it a 4-1 lead early in the game. Literally, like, they had the bases loaded in, what, the seventh inning? Got fucked over on a called strike three that wasn't a strike? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Atlanta, thank you for proving me wrong. Thank you. I really appreciate it because y'all deserve to be in the World Series, all right? It, it was time to end the choking memes. And you know what's funny? It's because that they're playing Houston. If they win, this, in a sense, avenges the, them losing in Super Bowl 51, which was in Houston. Would have, well, would have been funnier if they played the Red Sox, but it was last year and they had to do it in Houston because COVID, but I digress. At Bro, Freddie Freeman is finally in the World Series, man. And that's the thing. He's a free agent after this year. My money is on he's coming back. He's probably going to stay in Atlanta for the rest of his career. And he absolutely deserves to because they finally got to the World Series. Holy shit. And what's crazy is now they jump into the top of a bit of a tiebreaker for the most World Series appearances under the, in the wild card era at four. They, again, they hadn't made one since 1999. And the wild card era started, what, back in 95, I think? So, this is fucking huge for Atlanta. Especially because, again, no Ozuna, because he decided to be a fucking idiot. No, uh, no Acuna, because he tore his ACL back in July. And no Soroka, because, uh, he got hurt as well. And, you know, it's like, you're like, it's just, but for real though, it felt like LA was going to come back, even with their own issues. Trevor Bauer being a fucking idiot, Kershaw being out with injury, Muncie being out with injury, and then they, during the series, they lost Justin Turner, they lost Joe Kelly, they had to bring in freaking David Price. Chris Taylor single-handedly won them Game 5, much like how Jordan Alvarez single-handedly won Game 6 for the Astros against the Red Sox. But, again, even with all of that, and I honestly thought the baseball gods would not care for Atlanta's adversity and would prevent them from getting the job done, they got the job done. So thank you, Atlanta. And um, as far as I'm concerned, please, do us a favor, go into this World Series, and go kick the Astros' ass. Please. I'd really appreciate it, and I think the entire baseball world would too. But for the Los Angeles Dodgers... <clears throat> Dave Roberts! You overmanaging fuck! God damn! Like, Scherzer, he was supposed to pitch tonight, and his arm was dead after his, you know, previous start. Now, granted, shit happens, fatigue happens, 
But at the same time, it also feels like you overmanaged your pitchers a shit ton. I mean, what, you used how many pitchers in the Cardinals wild card game? Giant series? Like, seriously. Not to mention, all of all of your hitters, all the talent that you have, 108 wins, which, by the way, couldn't even get you a fucking in the top spot in the NL because the Giants decided to happen. You had to go through the wild card, get to the division round. But you barely survived the Cardinals and the Giants, if not for the Cardinals get putting in Alex Reyes at the end of that game, and the Giants not getting fucked over on a on a um on a check swing that wasn't a check swing. If it wasn't for those things, you would have probably been out by it before now. But no, you made it back here, and you lost to an Atlanta team that had to survive an imploding NL East without some of their top players, and you lost. That is embarrassing. God damn. And uh, you're going to have a lot of free agents to deal with this offseason. Now, being the LA Dodgers, you're probably going to bring some of them back, but not all of them. So, yeah. <clears throat> LA. Your hopes of going back to the World Series and possibly repeating? Deleted! Take your ass, take that entire ass team, get out your Metro cards, and get aboard the L train! Fuck the LA Dodgers. Congratulations to the Atlanta Braves. Go fucking win yourselves a goddamn World Series. Do it for Freddy. Do it for Acuna. Let's go.